Hello there and welcome to Tasty City. In this video, you will learn how to make homemade full cream milk powder. It is so easy to make, so if you like to see how I made this, then please stay tuned and keep watching. In a non-stick pot, I'll pour in 4 liters of full cream milk or whole milk. Once that step is completed, I will stir this on a medium heat occasionally and bring this to a boil. And once the milk begins to boil, turn the heat temperature from medium to low and stir at intervals till the milk thickens up. Now it is very important to use a non-stick pot for this recipe to prevent the milk from sticking to the bottom of the pot because once that happens it will cause your milk to burn. At this point our milk has thickened up nicely as you can see but I will keep stirring till all the liquid evaporates completely just like so and we will be ready to dry our milk or the hydrates. At this point, I'll transfer the milk onto my line baking tray, spread it out evenly and allow it to cool down completely. I'm going to be using my dehydrator to dehydrate the milk, but however, you can also dry this under the sun and you can also use the lowest setting of your oven and that should be around 80 to 100 degrees Celsius and dry the milk until it is completely dried. So at this point, the milk is completely dried. I'm going to be transferring them now to my dehydrator. First, I'll line my dehydrator with some parchment paper to prevent the milk from falling through the tiny holes. Once I'm done lining my dehydrator, I'll go ahead and separate or break the milk into little pieces just like so to speed up the drying process. The first rack is filled, so I'll place the second rack and repeat the same process till I'm done. So now that I have all the milk on my dehydrator, at this point I'm going to cover this up and allow this to dehydrate overnight or until it is completely dried. Alright lovely people, so this is the next day and our milk is completely dried as you can see. I'm just going to transfer this now onto a bowl and we will be ready to blend. For this quantity of milk powder I have, I'll be blending with one cup of sugar but you can use less depending on the quantity of milk powder you have and the sugar is also optional but it will also help to restore the color of the milk powder. To blend the milk powder or powdered milk, I'll be using my blender. You can also use a grinder, but if you're going to be using your blender, please make sure it is completely dried. So I have just added my one cup of sugar. Next, I'm pouring in the dehydrated milk. Once that step is completed, I'm going to cover up the blender and blend this up until it is nice and smooth. So here I have everything in the blender and I thought I could just blend this at once but the blades of my blender refused to move. I had to pour in some of the milk back into the bowl. Yeah, so I guess it was too much for the blades of my blender. 
I poured out some of the milk and now I'm just going to continue with the blending process. So now as you can see it is blending nicely and with the help of my wooden spoon I'm just pushing that in. I'm going to add more milk and I'm going to continue the process adding gradually until everything is nicely blended. I'm done with the blending process and now I'm just going to pass that through a sieve to get a smoother texture. Alright lovely people, so our homemade milk powder is ready and just take a look at that. Perfectly blended. So at this point you want to transfer the milk powder into any container of your choice and enjoy so now that you know how to make milk powder i hope you give this recipe a try and if you like this video please go ahead and click the like button subscribe feel free to share this video with your family and friends and i want to say a big thank you to you all for watching until i see you next time stay blessed bye bye